used to practice my English a, li a little bit. Uh, in this video, I will talk about. I will talk about which countries surprised me the most on my travel. I've been traveling for seven months now. No, not now, but uh, I came home to Sweden in the beginning of September, and now it's October. So I, I have been. I was away for seven months. So, but here is my top my top countries on my travel first of all my top was Nepal I did the Annapurna circle track it was amazing oh, it was amazing and it was top notch top notch if you if you really like hiking I will recommend really recommend you to go to Nepal and hike and you don't really need a guide I did this without a guide so it was fine for me uh, so I have a video uh, called uh, Soul Tracking in Annapurna Circle, Nepal. Go and check it out on, on my channel. It's in Swedish, but I have subtitles. subtitles. Uh, and the other country that surprised me very much was Cambodia. I really, really like Cambodia. Cambodia was also one of my favorite countries on this seven month journey through Asia and Europe. Uh, I was uh, backpacking, you, know, you can say. But Cambodia, really like Cambodia. It was small, still a lot of things to do in Cambodia. Like they have good beaches, dark history, not the best, but uh, the yen size in the, in the late 70s. Uh, super interesting and very, a little bit depressing as well. But, but the beaches, uh, Korong, Korong Island, it was, it was very good, it was very good actually. Uh, was uh, I, well, I think it's called was it on Paradise Beach or something, something like that. Uh, stay there for two three nights. I used to relax, relaxed, drank a lot of coconut beer, good food. A little bit expensive maybe. I think it was like each day I spent like I this is still, still staying in a hostel, so was the hostel was maybe. 15 euros or 15 dollars 15 and uh, and after the and the food around 10 dollars or so but wow good 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 very very a very relaxing place <laughs> uh, that was Cambodia and uh, I really like Bangladesh Bangladesh because I don't know it was so, so different from from everything else as I have experienced and the people the people in Bangladesh wow <laughs> they are so friendly I'm so happy to see you they are like even uh, I just was vlogging like this and they they thought I don't it was the first time I really felt like a youtuber <laughs> a real youtuber <laughs> actually <laughs> it was very cool and so Bangladesh maybe I don't know I really like Bangladesh just for uh, experience, uh, I was only there for 10 days on, the, uh, on this trip. Uh, if I, maybe I will go back, maybe not, we will see. Uh, oh, that's hmm. that's some more. Yeah, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. Uh, actually, Kazakhstan was also super surprising. The only thing I know about Kazakhstan <laughs> was from uh, Borat, <laughs> and uh, it was nothing like that. <laughs> it was super modern. Uh, people was friendly enough. Uh, good food. You can find a lot of uh, international food. I was only in the city Almaty. And then I did take uh, some uh, trips around around the country, but but Kazakhstan, wow! I would really go want to go back to Kazakhstan. The only thing is maybe is I don't speak Russian, and uh, Russian is the main main language in Kazakhstan. <laughs> Otherwise, Kazakhstan and oh, Kosovo, Kosovo really surprised me as well. I really like Kosovo. Uh, all uh, from the city life, friendly people, good food, and nature. Uh, I really, 
if you go to Kosovo, I will recommend you to go, go to Peja. Peja! Peja was very, super nice actually. Mm. Yeah, the last one. Is it called? Yeah. Um, it's the last one. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. The, the last one that really surprised me. Hmm. Hmm. I had not think thought it through really, but uh, 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 uh. I don't know really. The other countries feel like I have like oh was not like oh surprise oh ah oh. oh. <laughs> so I was in India. The India was like okay, it's it's crazy. But it's not that crazy. <laughs> not like a ball and bankrupt. Uh, I did. I was in Kolkata, that the same place he was in, and uh, I did not feel like it was. It was still crazy. A lot of people, but for me, it was. Uh, it was fun. It was okay. Nice people. Uh, but I was not looking for the bad places. He sometimes looked for uh, the bad places. I I tried to look for good places. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, maybe part of India. I was in Darjeeling, and Darjeeling was super nice. So like a tea region up in the in, in the north of India, between uh, Bhutan and Nepal. It was a very good region, very very nice region. But uh, the last country that really surprised me. Mm. I have to say, like I don't know. Maybe. Lithuania, Lithuania was, I was, I was, I like, I like the capital, uh, Vilnius, Vilnius, was, it was very surprising, but I cannot say, I think, I prefer like going to Laos before, <laughs> Laos was, I don't know, I, I was not really surprised about Laos, but I really liked Laos as well, I did a lot of things, this is the same in Vietnam, Vietnam and Laos was like, I was not like, oh, surprise, surprise, but there was so much to do there, so much to do in uh, in uh, Vietnam, crazy much to do. I really like Vietnam, I think that was, was one of the, my favorite countries, because maybe not for... <laughs> uh, some Sometimes uh, people were super happy, sometimes it was more like the, what to say, the Soviet type of people, they are not that, more, not that open-minded, but... Uh, Sometimes it was, it was because some region was different from other regions, uh, but I have a very good time in Vietnam. All, I also like the food in Vietnam. Yeah, maybe Vietnam also surprised me. I think I, I would say maybe Vietnam surprised me uh, the most. Actually, it was it was actually really good at Vietnam. Vietnam as well. Yeah, but now I'm back in Sweden, and. <laughs> I don't know what I will go do in the future. I just come back back uh, like a one and a half month ago, and I try to uh, build up my uh, my community on YouTube. Uh, maybe my my goal or my yeah my goal is to somehow live live from YouTube. Live. I don't know how. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm just in the beginning. After all, I have done it almost for. Two, two years, but the videos in the beginning was very crappy. Now it's getting a lit, little bit better each time. And now I will try to see if the English will help me to grow my channel. <laughs> yeah, so maybe. <laughs> but this that was my five countries that surprised me the most. Uh, and my name is Andreas, and the channel is called Andreas Riesteflum. And if you translate it in Swedish, in English, it's like traveling stupid or so, something. <laughs> or, yeah, something like that. That's maybe it's flum. <laughs> For me, at least. Uh, so, but to check out my videos up here, you will find a lot of videos. It's in Sweden, in Swedish of course, but I have every, 
everything is translated uh, with subtitles, with Spanish and English at least, and some, some even Chinese, some even Russian, and uh, some even. Uh, I try to translate every from every country I am in. So, if for example I am in Vietnam, you you also have the subtitles in Vietnamese. But this Google Translate, so it's it's not <laughs> it's auto auto everything is. But thank you. Make a comment down below, <laughs> and maybe I will do more English videos. I will uh, I will try to mix it up, just to practice my English a little bit also. Uh, but it's easier to speak Swedish, of course. Swedish is my mother language. <laughs> but ciao.